Welcome to another educational video from Confidence Global here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we are going through this important topic, how does the Odoo Upgrade project works or the, how the process works. So when you say upgrade, it's basically you are moving from one version of Odoo to a higher up version. For example, you're running an Odoo 11 and you want to go to Odoo 13 version. Now, let's go through the process. First and foremost, if you are on, on a community version of Odoo, there are no scripts available from Odoo. So you have to depend on some partner to manually migrate everything. Painful, takes a lot of time, takes a lot of money too. Now, if you're on the enterprise version of Odoo, as per your contract, you're entitled to upgrade your database from one version to another as far as your contract is current and it's a free process from Odoo. So I'll explain like how exactly it works. So if you approach a partner and you tell them like, hey, we need to upgrade from version 11 enterprise to version 13, then how the process will come up is the partner will go in and check like what all customizations that you already done. So they will actually, you know, like put a plan together and a checklist where all the customizations. At the same time, they will also do a really important part where they will actually take a complete export of your database, the Odoo database, which is Postgres fecal, and they will go to odoo.com slash upgrade and upload your database there. So once you do that, the team, the upgrade team, the database upgrade team at Odoo Belgium, they will actually work on it. So how the process work is, so typically when you upload the database, it goes through this automatic upgrade process. And if it goes through that completely, you will get the DB back in one or two days. Most of the cases, especially if you had some customization on your Odoo, then it goes into a phase called manual. You know, you, from the link, you can, they will actually give you a status link where you can click and check like where exactly that upgrade of the DB is standing. If it goes to manual, then the people from Odoo Belgium who are responsible for the upgrade, they have to manually go in there and write scripts, look at where exactly the automatic thing is failing, and then they need to work on it, write some you know, custom scripts to make this process continue, and at the end, you will get a test database back to you. So the good thing is, once they have written the script for the test database migration, they will use the same script when you're actually ready to do a production migration. I'll tell you like exactly what the difference between a test and a production uh, migration is. Now, you will actually upload the database and then, you know, it'll take a period of time depending on how many people are waiting on the line and also like how complex the database is, you know, based on the customization, everything, how much data exists. So the, all these are factors. So it might take a couple of weeks, to maybe three months for the database to be back. So think about this, this customer is already working on their system you know, like there's transactional data happening every day. So you do a test database migration, you get it back from like, you know, like a magic from the Odoo people. Before you go live, you will actually do one more database migration, which is production, which you will actually, you know, like you want to make sure that all the transactional data that happened from the very first day you actually upload the test database to the day actually you're actually, you're planning to go live. So typically what we do is, we will do a test database migration. We know that it takes like a few weeks to two months to complete. We will still try, you know, you will talk to the folks at Odoo and we will actually do a production migration, you know, like just to see like how much time it will take. So typically with the US customers, we will take a long weekend, whether there is a holiday on a Friday or a Monday. So that we'll get a little bit of a lapse time where the Belgium is actually working. So if there is some last minute problems that, you, you know, like, we expect the database to be, you know, got them back, you know, in like 20, maybe 22 hours. If it takes more, I'm still not putting the customer in trouble because I have that, you know, the overlapping time, whether it's a Friday or a Monday, that's a long weekend in the U.S., which is not a public holiday for Belgium. Yeah, I don't choose Christmas or anything like that, where it's an entire world actually celebrate that, uh, that holiday. But I'll choose something like, hey, can I find a long weekend that's specifically to us so that i'll still can work with the folks at belgium with with odoo so that i'll get a you know like a, a wiggling time you know like where i can manage things now going back to the other side 
uh, outside the database upgrade, which is completely free from Odoo. We also do this like as a partner, you already listed out all the customizations, the code, which you need to migrate one by one. For that, we will actually give a proposal to the end customer saying that it's going to take 100 hours or maybe 200 hours or some cases, thousands of hours. If they have a lot of integrations, you know, like you need to account for everything. You need to look at a, what changed from version 11 to version 13 and what are the changes that these external uh, plugin modules have to go through so that it will work properly with version 13. And again, it's a really cool process. You know, like it's really worth it because uh, two reasons you need to do a migration. One is you do not want to run outdated software. So always Odoo support the last three versions. You don't want to be far too away where, you know, the current version of, you know, stable version of Odoo is 13 and you're running on, on version eight. It will not be an easy upgrade if you're migrating from version eight to version 13. So keeping up within the three, you know, versions, you know, major versions, you know, that'll be really good for your business. Now, the reason is, you know, like there'll be cool features coming into Odoo, which you can utilize if you're actually upgrading into the next version. And one thing I completely forgot to say is, you know, there's one more reason. There's a third reason why you want to upgrade. Like, think about this way. You're running a business and you have Odoo taken care of, especially if you are uh, utilizing on-premise you know, where you're actually having your enterprise Odoo running on Amazon EC2 or DigitalOcean or any of those providers, there is something called end of life cycle for the underlying Linux operating system. Typically, most of them use, most of us actually use Ubuntu or there will be like hardware, you know, that will be getting like completely, you know, like going through an end of life cycle. So when you change, you know, like the Ubuntu OS, the Python version, uh, the version of PostgreSQL, the version of everything, you know, like the technologies, you know, like there will be a retiring phase there. So these cloud solutions or providers, you know, they have end of life cycle. And if your Odoo doesn't actually support the new version of Python, which they are permanently moving all their customers to, then you have a bigger problem. The reason I say that is you do not want to chase them you need to be, you know, like utilizing the newest version of Python or newest version of engines, you know, like all PostgreSQL, Ubuntu, all the underlying technology which has support and which has like really good security features because more flows or security flows and problems come in day by day. And there's a lot of people working hard to, you know, like have patches and make sure, you know, everything is taken care of. So upgrading is always a cool thing. I don't recommend customers to, you know, like upgrade from every version to the next version. It's going to burn a lot of money unless there is a new feature. Like, for example, Odoo came up with social media management and that is something you really need. Yeah, then jump to the next version. Otherwise, you know, every two or three versions, as far as you are supported, that would be a great thing. Once again, I really hope these videos are helpful. Hit like and share if you love the video. And if you're watching this on YouTube channel, click that subscribe button and click on that bell so that you will be notified so that you will not miss another video from us. Again, we are Confiance Global. We are based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. We only release two videos a week. On Monday, we release a really good video about new upcoming technologies around mobile applications, IoT, all those things. And on Friday, we actually release a great video in Odoo. You really do not want to miss this. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you.